just from being kind of big, I have developed a bit of a hobble. You know, when I walk, I kind of do a little back and forth like a fucking cowboy. And that gets even crazier when my legs are pumped. Like I felt like just walking down the hallway in here, I was really going back and fucking forth. Oh my goodness. But you don't need a runway walk to be a freak. So who cares? Let's see how they're looking after, I'd say quads today. I cut it just a bit early. Still most of the work was done pump wise, but not my gnarliest quad pump. Though hamstrings, that felt really good. Especially those light squeezing sets in the beginning on the seated hamstring curl instead of the laying one. I like that a lot. It's been a while since I've done that machine. So maybe I gotta add it back into the routine. But uh, let's see how these things are looking. I'll just take one pant leg out. I mean, that's some beef right there. Ooh. Yeah, that is way too much separation. I need to get softer, AKA larger. But not a bad chunk of freaking muscle. Ooh, yeah. So I'm kind of feeling it right. Let's say probably two inches deeper than skin level right up here. I'm not exactly sure what the cause of that could be, but I need to chillax a little bit. If I'd still feel it on next leg days, well, on next leg day, then maybe quads, I might even just skip, let it kind of heal itself up. Or if, it's, if it doesn't mess with me, just go real light on the leg extensions and just go for a pump, you know? If I, um, like last time I pulled my chest really bad, or no, no, I got a leg example. Around last Christmas time, I pulled my right hamstring real bad, close to the, close to the knee. I don't know which head, but it was not good. There was no more hamstrings done that day. There was no hamstrings done that week. But as soon as I sort of started to develop a little bit of strength, now, without hurting myself even more, of course, but once my hamstrings felt good enough to be able to do really light sets, not even squeezing that hard, but just sort of going through a motion, then I think the act of kind of, you know, pumping up an area that's injured with a little bit of extra blood, a little bit of extra nutrients, I think you're doing yourself a favor. Now that does not mean if you like pulled your chest, then try to go straight into bench. Well, if I get a pump, it'll heal up. No, obviously, you know, use your best discretion, but I'm gonna go pack up, do some adductors and get in the car.